Hey, this is Team Old 16 here, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to make something that looks a little bit like that. Nice little neon grunge style effect. You can check it out. Uh, link in the sidebar for this brick that I did. I, you just Google search brick pattern or brick wall. Unlock the layer before you move it too, and then that'll allow you to move it if it's a JPEG. Uh, now what you want to do is new, uh, I call it neon effect, you want to make sure the width is 1280 by 700, 72 resolution RGB color, uh, take your brick pattern and drag it into your document that you're going to be editing on. Now you're going to want to transform that and scale it. Uh, Command T is the easiest way to do this. And stretch it out so it fits the page. Find the best spot that you want it to be. Mainly so it looks the nicest. Now we're going to go down to uh, adjustments and brightness and contrast. Bring the brightness down to negative 90 is looking good. In contrast, somewhere in the mid 20s. Yeah, mid 20s. Alright, so that gives us a nice look for it. Now you're going to want to bring up the circular selection tool and make an oval just about in the middle of the photo. Make sure it covers up the edges. Now from here, you're going to want to make sure it's center. You can do that by pressing arrow keys on the keyboard. Now select the gradient tool and select the foreground of transparent gradient style. Now what you want to do here, whoops, is command shift I to inverse your selection to everything outside that circle basically. And just make it nice and even all the way around. You want to use your gradient tool, just drag it all the way around. Now you want to go command D for deselecting everything, and then we're going to just even it all out so it looks a little bit nicer, more of a faded effect to it, bring it in from D. Alright, so I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks right now. Now we're going to go to our text tool, and what we have here, you can use any color you want, but I think I'm going with uh, 135 is a pretty decent size, depending on how much text you have. I use churn tables, I'm going to put a link in the sidebar for that free font, and also you can use any color that you want, uh, obviously you want to use a neon looking color. Um, I already have all the uh, styles already put in here for my last thing, so instead of going through that all over again, I just copied it and pasted it over there. I'll show you. I'll run through all of it so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, I got a drop shadow. Opacity 75, blend mode is multiply, angle 120, distance is 25 per pixels, no spread, and the size is 10, and no noise either. The outer glow is set to the same color as the text. You, may, you can pause the video and set all these settings if you want. Uh, make sure it's set to inner bevel and the technique is smooth. That's 378. Now for the gradient, you want to set it so it is the color you text to the color you text. The same color on either side. Thank you. 
the now for stroke. It's size is three. Make sure it's an inner. And then the same color as well. You can make it a little bit darker, it might look a little better. It's up to you, just whatever you guys think is, looks good. And there's the finished product for that. I'm just going to throw in another little extra subtitle in here. I'm going to make it a, about 45. Yeah, 45. So now the easiest way to do this is select your last layer that you had and copy layer style. It's going to change the color of it, but it's fairly simple to go through it again and change the color. But you'll still have the same effect. So it's all the same effect, but once you get down to outer glow, you're going to want to change the color. Back to the color that you select that you want. You choose any color, green, whatever. Bevel is all the same. Gradient, you want to change both of those colors. Once again, you can choose a darker blue if you want for the second part of it. Right here, you can do darker, but it's up to you. Then we're going to do a stroke. You want to change the color of that. Then you should end up with a pretty nice looking effect there. If you want to put it on your background or any of a YouTube page, whatever it is to you. Alright, so that was T-Mode 16 with your Photoshop tutorial on the Neon effect. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.